Hi guys, this is a video about our vegan experimentations. Today we're going to try Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger, which is becoming uh, by far and away the, one, of the, one of the biggest uh, subjects I've heard in the vegan communities. This is a burger which actually does bleed. Um, we have tried it, we've tried it on the grill, and it was pretty good, but thank you Francie. There are a lot of suggestions now for actually putting together an entire vegan meal for this. So we are using Happy Campers Gluten-Free Wild Buns, which is also vegan. We are using original vegan A's. And Daya Cheddar Style Vegan Cheese Slices. Uh, I've got this pan heated up on a, a little over medium and I'm going to cook each burger for approximately three minutes. This is what it looks like right in the package. You get two in the package. Uh, um, we got the, I don't know if the pricing is nationwide for the entire US. We got it for $5 for two of these, which is pretty reasonable given the price of beef nowadays. does look, it, it does look a lot like beef. Um, it does, it does seem to feel a lot like beef when, when I touch it. And it definitely hisses on the pan like beef. So now I've also actually looked into one of our, uh, some of our favorites, some beers, and it's pretty amazing because Anheuser-Busch has actually turned a lot of their beers vegan. So if you're enjoying your Budweiser, if you're enjoying uh, natural ice, chances are they did not use ice in glass. They did not use animal products in order to clear out that beer. It's completely vegan. This is one of my favorite vegan gluten-free beers, Groundbreaker from Portland, Oregon. And I just grabbed a pale ale to have with this because I know their beers are vegan. Uh, there's, there is no, there is no gluten that comes into their facility at all. They, they really concentrate on the gluten aspect. But I do like the fact that they also don't use any animal products in doing their beer clarification. Pretty interested in seeing these cheddar slices. The last vegan cheese I had was a very long time ago. It was tofu. This says dairy free, soy free, gluten free. The Beyond Burger has in it a I believe this is a, uh, yeah, this is pea protein based instead of soy based. It has canola oil, coconut oil, yeast, maltodextrin, sunflower oil, some gum arabic salt, uh, cellulose from bamboo, methyl cellulose, potato starch, and beet juice extract for color. That's where you're going to get your, uh, your bleeding. And this is definitely, this is showing signs of normal signs of, of fat collecting around the outside of the burger. Very nice. It's got a slight smell to it. Not quite a beefy smell, but it is very pleasant. Again, if you're doing this at home, I totally recommend doing it on a nonstick pan. I'm, I really am not a fan of, of vegan products on stainless steel. I have not had very good, very good uh, experiences with it. <clears throat> Sounds like it's cooking like a burger. I'm gonna 
flip it. It's got a, it's definitely got browning like a burger should have. I'm going to put the slices on I'll be at the, at the two minute mark in a minute. Kind of smells like cheese. And I've got some naturally vegan onions. It's got a nice crust on it. I actually can't wait to try the cheese. I've had the burgers before, they're spectacular, but I've never had vegan cheese. I've had vegan cheese, I wasn't really impressed by it, but this is, you know, it's been a long time, so. Yeah. I'm sure they've developed it a lot in the last 20 years, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to put on a nice, healthy dose of two slices per burger. Of course, the slices are way bigger than the burgers, which is just fine with me. I like cheese. Yeah, cheese is a big thing for me as well. So if you can find an alternative, uh, that's nice. I know doing doing bread is is difficult. This seems a bit stiff. The buns seem a bit stiff to me. But I know it's difficult to do bread without animal products. Yeah. I mean, obviously this, you know, who doesn't love a burger experience? And this is a, yeah. a way to... You know, be a bit healthier in eating a burger. You're also doing a little bit for the environment, but um, there's also a lot of people out there that literally cannot eat animal products. It'll kill them. You know. Absolutely. That's. So this is a way for them to also in, enjoy a burger. Not the odd man out at the barbecue. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Done these for three minutes each. They seem. This is different than the grill. I may not have put the stove high enough. So I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them cook a little. So the undersides seem very done. I don't want to overcook them. What I could do to do the cheese is actually overturn a. Pot so the heat, the heat gets trapped. There we go. That's all the time I'm going to give it because you really do not want to overcook the Beyond Burgers. But the cheese is softening. Oh, it's actually quite warm. This actually look, this definitely looks like a burger. When I push on it, the, it seems to bleed like a burger. It looks red. So that'd be your basic bread, meat, and cheese. We're going to put some, uh, we're going to put some mayonnaise on it and some onions on it. Mayonnaise smells exactly like mayonnaise. Uh, 
It looks exactly like mayonnaise. It looks exactly like mayonnaise. I mean, it looks and it acts like mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. I mean, mayonnaise is pretty much the just the emulsification of, of oils. I'm really curious about this. Can a vegan burger live up to what we're used to? Oh, yeah. And onion. Nice onion cooked in. Very vegan oil. up here you can see it and that cheese is nice and soft yeah mm. Mm. That's... wow mm. yeah a burger Mm. A burger really, it does, it tastes yeah. like burger. If, if I had someone just give this to me, I really wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to tell. No, I mean, if you're at a barbecue or something, yeah. No. Bring a couple of your own patties, ask them to throw it on the grill. Nobody ever be the wiser, if, you know. Mm-hmm. They are really tasty. Mm. I'm pretty surprised at the cheese. I mean, I can't tell the difference, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. 20 grams of protein per serving. And these are quarter pound patties. And unlike, unlike real beef, if you get a quarter pound of meat um you're gonna lose a lot of that in, in out of fat when you're cooking this really mm -hmm. doesn't lose a whole lot so you still wind up with a quarter pound of plant yeah. <laughs> of, you still Jeez. wind up with your quarter pound of <clears throat> your quarter pound of material mm -hmm. burger when you're done cooking it The cheese tastes pretty good. It's mm. the texture is different from real cheese, but it's it tastes it tastes different. pretty good. Mm. The Beyond Burger is really successful in my book well worth the wait mm -hmm. we waited a long time oh yes but for a burger that looks and smells and acts like burger after it's done it smells a little more like a burger yeah. than than it smells like before or even while it's cooking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put on whatever condiments you want. Mm-hmm. Mushrooms would be lovely. Oh, yeah. Lettuce, onion, mushrooms, tomatoes. Of course, if you if you did just want to, you know, reduce that fat content, but you're still a carnivore, you know, <clears throat> you could still have your fried egg on it. Mm-hmm. But you're not going to have all those hundreds of calories from a big, fat, quarter pound of Beef. Yeah, risk of, of heart attack, stroke. Mm -hmm. 
damage the environment. Mm -hmm. Beef is an extremely beef is extremely damaging to produce. Mm -hmm. Well, the way we produce it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we could get better vegan burger buns next time. These aren't, yeah, bad, these aren't, these aren't bad, but they're they're a little stiff. <clears throat> they taste good. Mm-hmm. Flour mix of organic whole millet seed, sorghum. Buckwheat, quinoa, amaranth, psyllium husk, xanthan gum, sea salt. Yeah. It's yeah, these aren't bad. Explore some more, uh, some more vegan bread. Oh, definitely. I really like the, the I really like the mayonnaise. The the vegan A's, it's oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably mm -hmm. a lot healthier for us too. I imagine so. Um it, it well it lists itself as as better than mayo. Total of nine grams of fat. 70 milligrams of sodium, no carbs, no sugar. That's not bad. Yeah. You know, we, I'd like to try this with a tuna, with a, with a vegan tuna. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. What's your, your overall thinking? How would you rate it? The whole experience? The Beyond Burger? I'd rate the Beyond Burger probably a 4.7 out of 5. Mm -hmm. So it is so close to being exactly like the, the beef that it is attempting to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be the same. And the overall experience, I mean, how did the burger live up? Um, aside from the bun, which was a little tough, yeah, I really like the the whole the whole vegan the whole vegan burger. I could live with this. Oh yeah, I could. Too. I could. This is not this is not you know your normal hippie. Oh my god, vegan. Yeah. No, no, nope, not at all. And it's not you know tip of the hat vegan. It's, it's actually a really tasty experience. It is. It just tastes like a burger to me. Mm-hmm. You know. Breaks away like a burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could do a lot with this. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs>